Story continues. Sorry about that. We found a skull. Oh, so that's why you are digging in the dirt, Mr. Anthropologist. I wear many different hats. What I'm doing right now is specifically called archaeology. Since prehistory didn't have many writing tools, we rely on the evidence they left behind. We can look at the tools they fashioned, their local art, and even the fossils of their skeletons can show us their development and what they ate. And what made you think that digging here would help? We must look at an area around where people lived. To locate these, we can look at factors such as recorded documents, if there are any, artifacts that have been found on the surface level, and even just looking at an area that looks like it was settled before, like near a river. Uh, why do you have so much equipment out here? Then? This helps us scientifically determine the dates of the items we find. This can be very science-based, such as carbon dating, which studies the amount of carbon in an item. Hmm. So you can analyze how much of a certain element is in the item. Yes, this is also what we do with the element potassium. When volcanoes erupt, their lava covers the ground to create fossils with lots of potassium. As time goes, it changes into argon, or another element. We look at the ratio of both elements to determine the age. Uh, can't you just dig in the dirt to see how deep it is? <laughs> yes. That is a way to do it called geological dating. That deals with seeing where the item is in the dirt, basically. To do this, you need stratigraphy, which looks at the actual layers or profiles of dirt. Wouldn't it also make sense just to look at records to see when the object was used? Yes, this deals with statistical dating, but requires knowing the timeline of what was happening around the area. Mm, it sounds like a lot of expensive equipment and it takes a lot of time to dig and analyze everything. Yes, it is costly in time and money, and anthropology requires specific expertise, but we get much more accurate information and a firmer grasp of the past with actual artifacts. So, what are you going to do with that scalp? We will take it to the laboratory to conduct genetic analysis. Genetics is looking at what we are made of and where we came from and can even help us see where plants and animals were first used in farming. This is of course expensive in time and money as well. But it is much more accurate. Now, it seems that you like to have actual evidence from the past. Why not always look for something that's been written down? You must understand, written history in Africa is not as old as other parts of the world like China or Iraq, which has evidence from over 4,000 years ago. Writing was only introduced here by Arab traders roughly 2,000 years ago. But yes, written history does give a more permanent way to record and learn about history. And I feel like they would be more accurate too because Oral traditions rely on people's memory, and plus, it is physically stored somewhere. Very true. But remember, you need a system of reading and writing, which is sometimes only a privilege of a richer class in society, which may distort the events or be a biased opinion. Too bad they didn't have Wikipedia back then. That seems to be able to be edited by anyone. Ah, uh, yes. Technology has gone leaps and bounds to allow us to store our history on electronic devices. This allows fast and convenient information. But need the electricity and money to use it, mister? Very true. Now, you seem to be quite interested in this subject, and I'm glad to see that. May I ask your reasons? Well, you see... I feel that it is so interesting to learn about different cultures, beliefs, ways of life because in the end we are all human and must work together. To study how people lived in the past helps me appreciate where I am now. It also makes me 
proud to be a Kenyan knowing my people's past. Plus, I like learning about history for my own knowledge. Now, what about you? Why are you an anthropologist? Oh, those are all awesome reasons. Now, I believe knowing the history helps a community tie their past and present together to look forward. My education in history has helped me in any job I have been given, either as a teacher or as a manager for a business. And as the saying goes, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Are you as keen on government as well? Not really, but I feel like you are going to tell me about it anyway. You are correct. You must know why and how the laws affected humans, how we decided on governing systems, and our duties as a citizen and eventually leaders. I hope I can soon convince you to agree with my views, you Neanderthal. What did you call me? Oh, do I have a story for you. Follow me.